Hello. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install WordPress on your local development server. The installation steps are similar for live production server. For example, if you purchased web hosting on any hosting provider, the steps are some exactly similar. Let's download WordPress first. Open the web browser and enter wordpress.org. From here, you can download official stable release of WordPress. You can see download WordPress and download WordPress 4.3.1 button. Both of them will take you to the download page. Here there are two versions, download versions are available, zip format and .zz. I will download zip format version. I will move the files to desktop. Extract the folder using any any zip software. Now this folder contains all the necessary files to install WordPress. WordPress needs a database to store the data. So we will need to create a database first. Go to localhost phpMyAdmin. Enter default username and password. Here under databases you can create a new database for our new WordPress installation. I will name it my website. You can name whatever. Make sure you note down the database name. Here we successfully create a new database for our WordPress installation, my website. Now I will copy all these PHP files from WordPress folder, cut and move to Bitnami, Apache, HT Docs, and I will create a new folder for our new WordPress installation and name it my website and paste. If you want to install the WordPress directly under localhost main directory, you can go ahead and delete all those files and directly paste these files in htdocs. I created a separate folder here. Now you can see WP config sample file here. Rename it to WP config dot PHP and open the file in any text editor. I have Notepad plus plus installed on my computer, so I'll open it here. Here you can see database name, user, password, host. We just created a new database name. I'll go ahead and enter the new database name. My website. For database user, I will use root 
data uh, root username and while installation I choose a password I will insert the password here localhost database host is localhost since we are installing it on local development server I don't need to put here the salt keys if you are installing it on production server make sure you generate salt keys by visiting this URL and copy paste here here under treble prefix you can add a prefix for your tables WordPress will create all the necessary tables with this prefix if you want to change this to uh, anything you can change it from here for other setting debug and all those setting you don't need to worry about it so we are ready to start the installer now go to your web browser and type localhost my website if you install if you copy the files to a different location different folder you can type that folder name or if you directly copy the files in root main directory you just need to type localhost I uploaded all the files in my website folder so I type localhost my website and the installer detected that this is the first time installer so it redirected to installation page here you can choose any language from this and click continue I'll select the default one type the site title here I will use my website here under username please make sure do not use admin it is a most common security mistake most of the developers do admin is easy to guess and to hack so make sure you choose a, a complex uh, username or anything that is not uh, guessable I will use my own you can choose anything you wish here WordPress automatically generated a secure strong password for my installation I will go ahead and delete and choose a weak password since this is a development installation I am not worried about the password security but make sure if you are installing the WordPress on development production server live make sure you choose a very strong password I will confirm to make confirm to use of weak password type email address here for privacy make sure allow search engine to index this site if you are installing the site on live server for local installation it really doesn't matter if you tick because web crawler doesn't uh, uh, crawl localhost website I'll go ahead and install WordPress it will take less than a minute to install and create all the necessary da tables database table and WordPress will show you the message success and username and your password click login to login to your admin panel 
using your username and the password you choose while installation this is wordpress default admin panel and from here you can go to the main website localhost my website you can see wordpress successfully installed the default theme and the default plugins and all the necessary components at back end in next chapter we will see basic setting of wordpress if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment or message me thanks for watching the video